Hey guys, I am Jasmine, the director at Camp Bow Wow. Katie, Kima, and Cypress. And today we are gonna be working with my pup, uh, Dutch, on the command, leave it. We are going to have two types of treats. I have his reward treat, and then I also have the treat that he's going to leave alone. Um, I will be utilizing a clicker today. If you don't wanna use a clicker, totally fine. It is just something that I do like to use when we start with any new command. Um, I strongly, strongly encourage that the leave it command be taught. It's great for if dogs see something on the ground that they shouldn't have and they go to pick it up, you can tell them to leave it. If a ball runs into the street, um, you can tell them to leave it and they'll stop and come back to you. It can be utilized in a lot of different ways. I would encourage you to stick to a universal tri uh, phrase like leave it or drop it. Uh, mainly because while cute names that are themed with Harry Potter are great, if your dog is in a group environment of people, you may not always have your eyes on them. It's like for Thanksgiving, for example, and someone else sees your pup get something that they shouldn't, they can quickly say, leave it or drop it, and your pup will listen to that command. Um, I hope that's helpful, uh, but here we go. We'll get started with Dutch. So again, I have two types of treats. I have the treat that he's going to leave and then the reward. All right, guys. So with this uh, part of the command, I am not going to start with the command words. I'm just going to show it to him and wait for him to avert his eyes, um, then click and then treat. Okay, so the reason that you don't start with the command words, um, they're not gonna get right away that that's what it's connected to, um, and you'll get frustrated. So we'll do a couple more just like this, and then move on so that you can see the difference. I'm trying to be a sneaky sneak, and I have too many things behind me. All right, so because he's getting faster at realizing what I want him to do, I am now going to introduce the command word. Leave it. Leave it. Oh, he's doing a super good boy job. Uh, so now we'll try and put it on, on my leg and see how quickly he gets it, okay? Leave it. Now I'll move it, leave it. And the reason it's important to change up the environment from the same spot, I would even encourage you once they get this mastered with the command to do it in different locations. You never know the scenario that you're gonna be in and you want them to be able to listen to you no matter where you're at. In your home, on a walk, the dog park, leave it. do one more time for you guys. All right, so we're going to get, make this a little bit harder for him temptation wise. I'm gonna put it right down at his feet and tell him to leave it. Leave it. Oh boy. All right. I hope this was helpful for you guys. Um, please reach out if you have any uh, questions or comments, the next video that you would like to see. Um, Dutch, can you say bye to all your friends? Say bye, turn your, look at everyone. Look, look. cute, you're cute. Um, please remember to be the person your dog thinks you are. I hope you have a great day, and we'll see you next week.